Hey everyone, it's Grant Ellis. Uh, just getting home from a long day at work, getting ready to go do some exercise, but wanted to talk to you really briefly about something I experienced this week uh, that I thought was interesting. I'm gonna have to learn how to deal with. I, uh, I'm in the process of putting out my first physical product into the market, which has been a completely unique experience for me. I don't have any experience with anything to do with manufacturing or supply and logistics and things like that. So it's been uh, kind of funny trying to Google what I'm supposed to be doing, but I've gotten through all that and persisted through that and then getting really close to being able to put something into the market and see how it does and kind of nervous, a lot of, a lot of excitement though as well and excited about doing it. But this week I put up uh, my webpage and started to do some pre-marketing for the product. Pretty excited about it. You can't buy it yet, so it's just letting people know that it's coming, letting people know what it is, who I am, where the idea came from, everything like that to try to kind of pre-launch it. And it's, uh, it's interesting because last night as I was getting ready to go to sleep, it was about 11.15 at night. I try to wind things down, which is tough for me because I, I go a little bit uh, insano at night with my head and my thoughts. But uh, I noticed my phone popped up and I had a comment on on my Facebook page that I created for the product. So uh, nothing new, but this is kind of exciting because it was somebody that I didn't know. And when you start to get in front of people you don't know, that's when you really start to find out what the scenario was. So I opened up the comment and um, it was the all it said was, this is useless. Literally, my first comment ever by somebody I didn't know, this is useless. Now, now, mind you, the product's not even out yet. Uh, you can't buy it. You can't use it. So it would be very difficult for somebody to tell me um, that the product was useless. Um, but regardless of that fact, it definitely all of a sudden floored me. Um, immediately, of course, these feelings of anger and resentment and, and pride that was hurt all built up inside of me. And it really, for lack of a better term, ticked me off. Uh, and so I was actually sitting there getting ready to uh, make this very clever comment back to this person about how uh, how could they know that it was useless when it wasn't even available in the market yet and they needed to keep their thoughts to themselves, yada, yada, yada. Because I thought there, I remember kind of stepping back for a moment and thinking, you know what, you always heard that when you start to make progress, there's going to be people who who react negatively to you. And that's, I mean, that's what I've heard for a long time. And I've dealt with it in other businesses, but this is the first time. It's almost like kind of somebody calling your baby ugly, if you will, you know, it's not something you, you want to have happen. But as I stood there and thought about it, I thought, listen, I can't control what anybody else thinks about it. There's, there's going to be people that don't like me. There's people that hate my product. That's just the way it is. And a lot of that sure stems from, you know, um, a lot of different things, negativity, jealousy, resentment, whatever the case may be, or it might just be that they plan up hate my product. And that's fine. I mean, that's going to happen. I can't make everybody like it. But what I had to realize was that, was that I cannot control what people say about me or about my business or about what I put out in the market. And the only thing I can control is how I react. So luckily, before I typed out and sent that whole message, I stood back a little bit and, and let my senses uh, get back to normal and I deleted my comment and their comment of course because I'm not going to leave that up there I don't want any negative publicity on the products page but it was one of those times when you sit there and think you know what in the world did I do to deserve that type of response and really I didn't do anything but what happens is as we progress in life and progress in our careers there are always going to be times when there are people who are negative towards what you do if you're doing things that are are positive for you and for your family, for your career and everything, there are going to be people that are, are negative towards that. And a lot of times it can even be your friends. Um, luckily, I haven't really had to deal with that yet, but um, you have to realize that most people aren't in a position to make progress. Most people aren't trying to live out their life in the best way possible. They're just trying to get through each day without being miserable. And a lot of them are failing at doing that. So really, it makes me feel bad for people like that, but more, more so it teaches me a lot about who I am, that as I move forward into different types of businesses, and try to do different types of things with my career that I've got to be ready and I've got to be okay with people not liking what I'm doing. That's just something that comes with the territory and something that uh, I'm going to have to get a little bit more used to and, and thicken up my skin a little bit. For whatever reason, it's very easy for me when a client tells me that they don't want to work with me uh, from a service perspective because I've been doing with that for 10 years. But I think this had to do with it being my first product and it's almost like, you know, hey, here's me uh, wrapped up into this product. I hope you like it. And somebody says, useless. It kind of uh, caught me off guard, but don't worry about what people say about you. I'm going to try to do the same thing. And uh, all you can do is do what you do in the best way possible and keep getting better every day and not worry about the people who try to drag you down. So I hope you're having a great day. I hope you're having a great week. Uh, don't let the haters get you down. 
And uh, definitely please feel free to comment on this. Um, I'd love to hear your feedback on the kind of things you're dealing with on a daily basis and the kind of negativity you're trying to get rid of in your life. It's very important. Surround yourself with positive people and you'll only move upward and forward. So have a great week. I'll talk to you soon. Please leave a comment. Share.